I just got a question that really bothers me. Why is a mother of five going out for a jog without her kids at 6 p.m. on a Saturday night? Where are Who kids? is are this talking? Is Ron this Bateman? Bateman? Okay, Ron Bateman. Yeah. Um, I need to drag you into 2022. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Women go jogging when they can. How do I know if there was an aunt or the boyfriend or whoever with the children? And guess what? Sometimes we go jogging in shorts and a jogging bra. I want you to sit mm -hmm. down when you hear the rest of it. And sometimes we don't worry that we're going to get raped and murdered. So at 6 p.m., for Pete's sake, I'm still going strong at 6 p.m. To me, that's like yeah, 1 p.m. Please do not say that again, <laughs> Bateman. Spanky, spanky. Why was she out jogging? Because she... Felt like it. Excuse me. Are we in USA here, or am I in communist China? Well, oh, think, we're still in the <laughs> USA. So I can go out and jog at 6 p.m. What are I'm you defending him? Today. Jackie is defending Man. you. FYI. Go. I think he means why didn't she have her kids with him? Because that's usually. An, an oh, so you're going to take five children that are toddlers with you when you jog? Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Bateman, how many children do you have? I have three. Hey, did, did you ever take them jogging or walking when they were two or three years old? Uh, I actually did take them on oh, a trail. You are actually. so yeah. hiking, hiking, but not jogging. Hey, did you ever think this mom might want to break? She's got five children. Okay, everybody stop everything. Let me get my notes out. Vincent, uh, Vincent Hill is joining me from Fox 45 Baltimore. I did a little research on the boyfriend, and what I found is he doesn't just have a past. He has 14 arrests since 2014, including drugs, assault, disorderly conduct, refusing arrest. I was told domestic. What, what do you know? Yeah, Nancy, I mean... You just laid out his his rap sheet, if you will, and you know, you know I did. To, to, yeah, to to uh, go back to my cop days, you know, when you're the person to call nine one one, when you're the person to find the car, when you're injecting yourself in an investigation. Certainly, as an investigator, you want to question those things. You know, like you you uh, touched on her being a, a woman walking and running in the park with shorts and a sports bra. I mean, think about this, Nancy. She was a beautiful woman at 6 o'clock. The sun is still up. I'm thinking 100 people would have noticed her running through that park just because eyes glaze on beauty, right? So, you know, we don't have a bunch of people coming forward to say, oh, yeah, I saw her running in the trail at 6 o'clock. Then there's a, a problem with the statements made by the boyfriend. Okay. Why do you say that there is a problem with statements made by the boyfriend? Well, I mean, think about it, Nancy. She did go to this trail. She was yeah. on a run. She's a very noticeable person. People would have noticed. Yes, I saw her. Yeah, nobody would trail. notice an ugly bag like me. Is that what you're trying to say? Thanks. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that. They wouldn't notice me running through the trail. Hold <laughs> the Nancy. I'm just, I'm just saying. She, well, she would probably catch eyes if she was in that trail, right? So, as an investigator, I'd want people to come forward and say yes. I saw her at 6.15, I was walking my dog, she ran past me, she smiled and said hello. If I don't see that, then I have to go back even further than 6 o'clock and figure out where Rachel was leading up until the time of that 911 call.